Hello and welcome to BA 131, Business Interpretation Spanish. I am your instructor, Cesar Vargas, and our class is fully online. It goes from April 15th to June 9th. It's an eight-week class, and the work is going to be accelerated, meaning that the 16 weeks that it normally takes a class, we will do the same work, similar work, in eight weeks. Just so you know, this eight-week class gives you the same credit as a 16-week class, three full credits. Let me show you around here. If you're familiar with Canvas, you know that here is the home page. On the right, you will have your coming up assignments uh, to do list over here. And any announcements that you need to be aware of will be at the top right here. And the syllabus is here. We will go over that in a separate video, but you can click there and find it. You have access to Office 365 for free as a Santa Ana College student. And if you want to go to the modules, you can go here or you can go in here. And a little bit about me in the instructor contact and biography. You can read about me this information. Just briefly, I have been a district translator, language specialist, and interpreter for the Santa Ana Unified School District for over 25 years, almost 30 years by now. And I also work with other organizations, businesses, and municipalities, cities, transfer and convey their message, their communication to their Spanish-speaking audiences, clients, and constituents. I have a bachelor's degree in behavioral science, a master's degree in education, a doctorate in clinical hypnotherapy, and i also a freelance translator interpreter. i also a coach and master hypnotist, master practitioner of NLP. I'm the author of several books, including Your Life is Your Masterpiece. You can take a look at that there. Unstuck, the Owner's Manual for Success. And I've worked with other authors in these books. So I've translated between translation, co-writing, and writing. I have about 18 books uh, under my belt. That's a little bit about me. If you need to get a hold of me for any questions you might have, this is my email. That's the business division number. That's not my number, but you can call and leave a message there. But the best way to contact me is through either the inbox here or through my email, Vargas underscore Caesar at sac.edu. So let's go over the class briefly. As an online class, we do not have any set meetings. Everything will be done online. And if you have any questions, like I said, you can email me or you can ask in the general course questions, the student lounge. So if you go to the modules in this area here, let me show you your student view. So this is what you will see. And you don't see all the things that I'm still working on. And this will change a little bit because I'm still recording some of the videos. Like here, I, I'm recording this video, so this is an inception moment. I'm recording what I'm telling you I'm recording, and it's going to go right here, but forget about that. And that tells you a little bit about the syllabus. I'm going to record a video about that so you are aware. And here is the information I showed you, my biography, a little bit of our communication plan. The, if you're not familiar with Canvas, you can go through there. But of course, netiquette rules. If you have any questions about the class, you go here, general course questions, student lounge. This is similar to raising your hand in class. This is a question that everybody can read. It's for everybody. So if somebody knows the answer to the question and you get to it before me, just feel free to do that. That's great. Because as you'll see, in our profession, we need to help each other, and collaboration is paramount. So if you have any private questions, something you don't want everybody to see, such as a personal grade, a personal situation at home that you may need a little more time for an assignment or so, send me an email. And as a college student, you're expected to do all your work on time.
So plan your week and plan your work accordingly. And this is going to be uh, preparation for the real world where I know that you're going to be an excellent professional and this is a preparation for you to do that. In this translation and interpretation class, you are expected to participate in the conversations, in the discussions. I'll show you those at the appropriate time in English and in Spanish. If you know that one of your working languages is not as strong as the other one, then now you know what you need to work on. This course is presented in modules, and in Santa Ana College, each module represents a week. These are the resources. In module one, you are expected to do all this work within the week. The other modules are not open right now. So when you log in the first day of class, you're only going to see the first module. But this, you'll see the sequence of work. I recommend that you do it in this order. So module one, week one, you'll read about the introduction. Uh, there is a video I'm going to be recording, uh, one of these two, the syllabus video, and then the lecture or the presentation about what we're going to be covering in that module that week. And I need to re-record these, so this is going to look different when you log in. There's some video you're going to watch. Uh, you'll have a homework, class exercise, and discussion. The syllabus quiz uh, is due not the first week, but by the end of the second week of class. So in here, in the discussions, all the discussions are the same. All the modules have the same basic format where you have the instruction and then the assignments and you have to do all these assignments within that week everything is due by sunday of that week except the discussion which is due by friday because you have to reply to two of your classmates and the instructions are there in here for example this assignment is due friday april 12th and you're reply to two of your classmates is due by Sunday. That's why you have to post by Friday so people can see your post and reply to those. And uh, in here, you do not see uh, your classmates' posts until you post. So don't think you're the first one. Go ahead and post. And you post by hitting reply because technically this is the post and you are replying to my post. But this is your reply and then your classmates will reply to yours and you will reply to your classmates. And it's very important to note that you must participate in discussion one the first week. Otherwise, you might be dropped from the class the second week of classes. The college requires us to, quote-unquote, take attendance. And the way we take attendance in a, an online class is by your participation. Your discussion is your attendance. So be sure to do that so you are not dropped. All right. So we will look at the student learning outcomes, which is what you are going to be learning throughout the semester, throughout the eight weeks. And this will be covered in the syllabus when we talk about that. Again, if you have any questions about this or anything else in the course, be sure to post in the general course questions section. And I'm looking forward to meeting you virtually and seeing the work you will produce in this class. Thank you and have a great day. Thank you.